guys, Dan Wolfman, Karate Go Jiu-Jitsu, Catch Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, I'm going to show you a technique, defense, counter against the jab. You won't be able to hit it all the time. But if someone's untrained, you can do it. Or if they are trained, maybe on their third or their fourth big power step jab, you can time it once you see their reeds in their shoulder and stuff like that, their telegraphs. Um, so very, very slowly. I just put a video out on trying to build up to all kinds of different defenses. How to drill, and drilling is important. Um, but this one is just a technique only against the jab. Realistically, people train it from orthodox to orthodox, but that's very hard to pull off. It's easier to pull off if you're neutral, everyday stance, or if you're switch lead southpaw against orthodox. So I'll do both ways. So neutral, and a guy just comes and throws a jab at me. Go slowly. As it comes, I'm going to parry, just like a boxer, so I'm going to get it off the center line. Parry and slide. I'm gonna move, parry and slide and get off the center line. I'm gonna move, parry and slide and grab and keep, so hopefully he's overextending and I pull with his wrist. Parry, slide, grab, and I'm gonna cross face him here. Kind of like hit him with my palm in reality, here, and then sweep this leg out and trip him down. Okay, does this say, say record? I just wanna make sure we're going. We're gonna go, hey guys, just making sure, okay, we're all good. Okay, so from this angle, Make sure you do some like quarter turns. There's good right now. As he comes slowly, I'm gonna pick up this parry to get it off the center line. Okay. One two. Faster. One two. Once you grab. Once you grab. Once you grab, insert. Once you grab, insert. And once you push the coritis out, and I can go to reverse knee. I can go to knee. I got the arm bars. You notice against my leg or my hip. So very slowly now. As he comes, bam, I'm gonna get nailed. I'm gonna come off the center. One, two, see lot salute, look at my old see lot salute video. One, two, grab. If he has a coat on or a gi on, it's much easier. Here, and then I cross face him here. Okay, I didn't break his structure. And because I'm so deep this time, instead of sweeping out your style, I'm gonna do more Muay Thai style. Knee lift. Now I'm gonna control him here, his elbow, throw grab, okay, punches, whatever you're gonna to go to. So very slowly again. From, yeah, I'm gonna just go from a southpaw against orthodox this time. No, stay, stay with me. One, two, faster, one, two, okay. One, two, three, look, bam, here, here, here. Here, if he's down nice, whatever. This is a good technique when the guy pulls a gun, so you gotta be able to do it to both sides because you're getting the offside off the uh, center line of the gun. Uh, it's something that could potentially work. Russian Sambo, people do this. Spence nice, uh, security guards. Sorry. Okay, didn't get his face that good that time, so I put a ridge hunt against his throat. I can't improvise. I did a little nasty for him. You okay? Wait, 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 wait for me to sit. <coughs> enjoyed it. Uh, also sometimes instead of the face, face is more efficient. But instead of the face, I could end up here on the shoulder instead of this. If you get a shoulder that's okay to you. Stir the joint like a, a reverse Hadouken and street fight. Up and down. Stir his joint as I sweep that leg out. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please sub, thumbs up, thank you.